Some of my fellas tell me it ain't so, man. And this one, we talking absolutely about the pros, right? And uh, I'm going to have to use a lot of different words because things are censored. But trigger, trigger alert, man. Some of y'all going diving without your diver's suit into the deep waters. And worse, the type of waters that could be shark infested. And eating on the peaches. We gonna talk about this. But before I do, Rich is at the back of it again. Don't forget, subscribe, click the bell notification, hit notify all. Make sure you drop your comments. Make sure you hit that like button right now before we get started. Absolutely go ahead and share the videos on your Facebook and your Instagram. For my travelers, I highly recommend you get the ebook and audiobooks on travel, safety, and dating. And for those who want to live abroad, get the cheat sheet to financial freedom and the good life how to live or slow travel abroad. Available for instant download at payhip.com slash riches method. All the links are also in the description below. So let's go. Now my first question is why, 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 why would some of us who travel and within that segment of travelers you got your subsection of people who travel for women right and they travel for women of a certain type specifically my question to those brothers is why would you give the new modern women who you say you don't want to really mess with the ammunition to use against you now although i'm going to say this i know in the comments somebody's gonna go all crazy as you usually do so let me say this carefully why would some keyword some of the so-called passport brothers actually make this a legitimate claim for lots of females who are on looking into what some people are doing and already using that against a larger group of individuals now here's the reality whether we like it or not whether we think it's a little different or not the word passport brothers has become synonymous with a couple of things and none of it positive you got people who think okay it's only black guys who travel to certain countries specifically looking for women who take part in certain activities as their careers a tiny percent of women of those countries that people then don't want to generalize to the entire country right secondly you got people who don't think well it's not only black guys it's any guy who picks up a passport goes to a place does that and then you also got okay it's a bunch of dudes, whether black or otherwise, who go to these places looking for poor women who they want to get as girlfriends and wives only to exploit them because they somehow don't know to say no and they're weak and blah, blah, blah. No matter which version of that you believe it is, right? Here is another reality. Now, in one of my past little conversations with you guys i had mentioned that a particular well-known area of the dr was known for a few people walking around looking like in nine months something's gonna pop out and it can't all be just the boyfriends or the local people right now, i barely mentioned 20 seconds of that in that talk that we had but 90 percent of the people grabbed onto it and I remember thinking to myself, like, come on, people, don't do that, man. It can't be large numbers, right? But obviously, the reason why nine months could happen is because certain people obviously was in certain areas doing certain things without any cover. Just didn't put on the cap over their head. They didn't protect that one eye, the one eye monster. They 
They're going into the ring without a raincoat. Ah, that was only half of the story. I got a story time of this one because now I heard everything from the horse's mouth. And at first, uh, I didn't fully understand what I was hearing. And I'll get into that with you guys. But here, here's the important part about this, man. I've also realized that throughout my journeys, I'm even meeting brothers who are, you know, they're, they're sampling the peaches and they're consuming the mangoes, well, the mango juice of the mango fruits, but not with, you know, the regular upstanding citizens, right? This thing is actually happening with the uh <laughs> the talent the higher talent and i'm like why would you want to put yourself in a position like that in the first place in life because just by the nature of the career choice you were extremely heightening your chances of one nine months later but extremely of six feet under and i'm like god damn it so let me tell you guys what happened man and how i came to this realization a little bit more intact than i used to be that it's absolutely happening all right so we had the story time man fellas are you wearing your wetsuits before you dive into the deep end listen so i'm having um a drink right in the colonial zone this is El Conde area. I'm talking about Santo Domingo, right? Now, that area has a lot of locals, also has a lot of tourists from all over the world. And because of that, it attracts every single thing, every single type of opportunity, every hustler, male and female out there. And while I'm kicking it there, I ran into a fellow traveler of course this is a you know, i gotta say it was a brother man it was a brother and um his brother a brother who looked like me and you know we got uh, a little bit of conversation as we're chilling and uh a couple things happened now, at first it wasn't back-to-back -back questions that was asked of me but when i later pieced together the situation towards the end of just the conversations and the questions and giving some information and providing some help because you know I've been living in the DR in the past for a while and I realized this brother actually used to travel back and forth as much as me but he is definitely more of the weekend warrior type from what he said and absolutely only in the little tourist zones just for fun like he is there just to jump into the deep end enjoy the fruits and have a good time right it doesn't seem like he's sightseeing it does none of that so he said he's been doing this since let's say four or five years ago at the time that i'm recording this but a couple of things stood out to me as we we're sharing information we're doing what fellas do which is trading stories um having a good time right he offered to buy me a beer. And I said, nah, I'm good. I just had some Leyenda. Uh, at one point, this brother even said, bro, you got so much good information, man. You need a channel. Well, brother, just in case you ever encounter my channel, and I will tell you all you guys out there, if you encounter me, man, I don't care about the fame, the hype. I just like giving out good information, man, and helping people out. So, um that's part of it right uh, i'm also recording my part of my life in this way too uh, i get to look back at this someday and say hey here's the places i've been and what i've done and yeah he said bro you ready you, you should start the channel <laughs> well i got a channel and i'm never going to tell you guys when i run into you because i don't I, i'm not seeking clout i'm not going to be like yo i'm such 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 the likelihood of that is going to be extremely small However, I will use the information to help out the people, man. And without putting everything in any particular order, here's how this conversation kind of went loosely. At a certain portion of that, he asked me, you know, hey, man, so how is the women here 
when it comes to the cleanliness, the freshness, the whatever. I took that to mean, do they take care of themselves in that particular uh, cleansing way, right? So I said, man, did you notice that when you finish having a great time, they'll jump right up and automatically just freshen up? And I've noticed that by the culture. And I think that's a Caribbean culture thing too in general. Now, I laid a piece together that why he was asking that is because later on he ended up asking me if I know how he can get um, checked before he goes home. And I'm like, well, you know, you could you know, keep this in mind. We're drinking. I was enjoying a cigar earlier. Things are just flowing from one place to the other. You don't really, you know, you're not, I'm not judging people out there like that or anything. But I didn't realize that why this brother needed to check himself because he's been doing certain things. You know, he told me, hey, you know, I, in one day I, I hit that, that number of five in total. Um, you know, several different conversations, man. And uh, that, that happened to be part of it. And I'm like, hey, you know, I'm calculating everything, putting it together. I'm like, that's not the thing you want to be doing with the talent that you have been seeking and the type of fruits that you've been sampling. It doesn't make sense for two particular reasons, man. One, you know, you could get yourself in serious trouble. You cannot tell yourself that because the cultures might be different or you think that the women tend to take care of themselves a little better, that there is not the realities bio biologically of running into problems. Listen, at the end of the day, humans are humans and certain things are gonna be passed on and passed along, right? We can't say, well, I'm in a different country, so because they wash that better or they wash that more, that that doesn't mean that, you know, that could not have happened. And then you're thinking to yourself, or you guys should be thinking to yourself, what's the odds since this is the career choice? You know, if you're in the military, if you're a police, you're uninsurable if you jump out of airplanes. If you take high amounts of risk, and that's your job. Any insurance company will tell you, sorry, we're not covering you. You'd be such a high risk that you can't even afford to pay that uh, monthly premium because the likelihood of dangerous things happening to you has increased. Well, if a certain segment of a population in any country in the world is in a certain profession, <laughs> that's extremely risky odds, right? And no, you have significantly reduced. Uh, increased your risk now i'll give you some information i did give the brother when you're traveling in these countries a lot of these countries don't have laws that keep that money in the health insurance industry you can just go to certain places get certain pharmaceuticals uh to from a pharmacy you can um, definitely go to a uh, laboratory and get yourself checked out without first going to a physician by just saying, hey, how much is this kind of thing? Just like a DNA, man, for you other fellas, you just walk in the place, get a DNA test, right? If it says laboratorio, if you're speaking Spanish, you could probably just go check one of them places or just walk into a pharmacy and ask them. Now, unfortunately, the, in the past, there was a female that left a comment on one of my videos and it was like, ah, oh, that dude's nasty. They, you know, they go over there, they're doing what they're doing, then they bring that home to their wife and their girlfriends and i was like ah, she just hating man she hating but i gotta say no man i'm seeing that there's some dudes out here taking these kind of risks and how that conversation started the dude asked me if i ever got burned and i was like uh but in my mind i'm taking it a different way it was early in the conversation i'm thinking he's talking about a normal female and i was like oh yeah i had this little shorty nothing serious Turns out she had her little female time. And fellas, just so you know that uh, if, if, if the, uh, what do they call it? Without me getting uh, censored here. If that pH balance is off and uh, it turns into a yeast, we as men can get effect in, affected by it. We can get affected by it also, right? And um, this was earlier, earlier on. 
when I first was not in anything serious and I was messing with a regular shorty and I panicked because I was like, God dang it, what did I do here, right? Uh, of course, this was not a talented person, so I was talking to this person, vetting this person as a potential future thing, and that happened. So, I mean, you got to be careful out here, people. And uh, absolutely don't go eating the peaches and the mangoes, tasting it. Um, and I would say it's extremely more important if you're messing with the talent. You're messing with the person in the dangerous career that's uninsurable. And I've heard it from locals in certain places who have said, oh, yeah, man, you know, the government provides... Uh, after people have gotten sick with certain things, the government to, to provide some uh, of what they need, you know, so that they ain't got to go six feet under. And we'll see the, the females in that profession lined up in front, you know, not in that major city, in the regular local areas, collecting what they need so that they can't be out there going six foot under. So, fellas, take this as a heated warning you wouldn't do that if you're home right so why do it abroad no go to payhip.com slash riches method download the traveler's cheat sheet that's a guide to dating safety and travel and if you'd like to live abroad i've also got a book for that that's called the good life how to live or slow travel abroad and for y'all who need just a little bit of help on the financial side of how to make this happen, I got the financial cheat sheet. And with that said, I'll check you guys on the next one.